it's not always the final project. It's always the process of getting to that final project. That's where the the art is, I guess. If that's the case, then Rudy Brinks and Bonnie's the artistic process. Like most who achieve greatness, Rudy has done battle with his fair share of inner demons. Uh, I have a lot of social anxieties and some depression issues myself. I find painting is a way to relieve myself of some of these issues. Uh, I don't know, it keeps me sane, I guess, uh, drawing and painting and creating. And he's created quite a bit through the years. It all started with his fascination for a medium that isn't always held in the highest regard. Those are pretty cool. Comic books. Uh, entertaining my brother and my cousin. Uh, you know, they'd come up, we'd read the comic books, and then we'd come up with our own superheroes, and they'd ask me to draw them, and so I'd do that, and then I'd collect the comic books, and just sort of taught myself from there. Since then, each piece has helped him chip away at his mental block and flush out any deep-seated anguish. Being able to paint does uh, draw you out of uh, some of the current situations you might be struggling with and brings you to a whole other uh, level or place, I guess. His current place, which he has converted into his very own studio, was found by the people at the Superior Alliance for Independent Living, the same folks who suggested he enter the LTAC's art competition. Getting yourself into something like that is definitely very rewarding to to um, to whoever. You know, it's it's rewarding to see if I can create something and it comes out good. It just makes me feel so good, and I don't know. There's, there's a lot of uh, satisfaction of creating his creation, which merges new technology with America's rugged past, received one of the top honors at last year's competition. Robots become the best friend of. A lot of people, I guess, at least for me, I'm on the computer all the time. It's ironic that Rudy struggles with social anxiety when you consider how lifelike and intimate each of his paintings are. The expressions from people's faces, I, I draw a lot of wrinkles in people's faces. They always tell stories to me, and so I like to see if I can tell a story by looking at someone else's uh, wrinkles and painting them myself, I guess. He's even tried his hand at pinning down his own wrinkles, but there's still some work to be done. I don't know what I want to do with that one yet. <laughs> For the time being, he's hard at work preparing for this year's competition, which happens to be in his hometown of Grand Rapids, and a new art class that will help teach through sale, allowing him to help others in a similar situation find the same solace that he holds so dearly. For ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Rick Tarsitano.